Hi guys, welcome to the next video. So today I wanted to do like a project pan what's really coming to the end of things that I'm using. I'm really finding this so useful um, because I really am looking at what I have before I buy something else. Now there's lots of things out there and I'm not so much on a, a no buy, more so that if I find something I really like and I think is worth getting, I will. But I'm really looking at what I have because I have so much. We all have so much that we may not look at. Um, a couple of things beforehand that I wanted to just give a shout out to is some skincare that I've been using that I've really, really enjoyed and actually have used this for a long time. Apart from this one, I've used this one for a long time. This is the Vitamin C Detox Skincare Invigorating Skin Booster and it's Super Drug Zone and it's absolutely amazing, guys. I've used it for a year um, and it almost just brightens the skin straight away. Um, it comes like with a little applicator like that. Um, kind of the scent is a you know vitamin C sort of orange smell scent to it um, and it's amazing I use it morning and evening sorry you can see I've just got a, a cut there sorry um use it morning and evening and I just has a beautiful beautiful notes not sticky at all fast absorbing and um, really nice feel to the skin very luxurious feeling and the scent is just beautiful really fresh not overpowering scent of orange but just a beautiful scent and leaves you feeling really really kind of clean and feels like you've almost had a treatment but also it does brighten the skin and it kind of evens out the skin tone so that's something i would really really um kind of recommend it's 14.99 it was 14.99 but now i think it's 7.99 and i will pop it up here i'll have a look for you but before we get into project pan that was something i wanted to give a shout out to it's the vitamin c detox skincare invigorating skin booster and it definitely just boosts the skin the other thing i wanted to kind of let you know that i've been using for about a year now is the Garnier Skin Care Hyaluronic Aloe Replumping Serum. This is right at the end. So this kind of fits into kind of a hashtag skincare makeup project pan. Um, this is absolutely amazing. I saw results from the first day, but I used it morning and evening. So you just pop it onto your skin after cleansing. Um, it's got a little doper here, so you can just pop that on there like that. Lovely consistency and aloe scent to it, aloe vera scent. As you rub it in there, it feels very luxurious, very cooling, has a cooling effect. And as you rub it down the neck as well, it just gives you that really soft replenishing, basically what it says on the tin, replenishing kind of feeling. And I noticed um, the next morning, basically, I noticed a huge difference in my skin. It felt kind of um, brighter, it seemed brighter, but it felt uh, soft and definitely replenished. So that's definitely something I would call like water for the skin. Very, very nice. Keeps you hydrated. Something that I'm still looking at and I'm only, I'm actually halfway through it. So that has gone pretty quickly. This is the Vitamin C Brightening Serum um, and it's SPF 25. So that has gone quite quickly. Now, what we're gonna do is start to go into the project pan. There were just some skincare I really wanted to give a shout out to, particularly this guys. I've used it for a year now and I find it amazing. I use it after cleansing, I use it morning and evening. Um, and before my moisturizer goes on um, and it's just amazing really really good highly recommend that okay so things that have definitely been my project pan and are certainly on their way out are the two Maybelline 4-in-1 so we'll start off with primer foundation um, and highlighter and this is basically all of it in one these are the Maybelline 4-in-1 perfectors and it's the 4-in-1 glow makeup so you've got your primer your concealer your brightener and your BB cream and it's just gorgeous. You obviously have the twist cap. Now I have two because I bought one last year that um, you might see in other videos I've mentioned that was a different tone to my skin. But online, this is the one here I bought that was a little bit too dark. Um, online it looked amazing, but then that's kind of the natural thing sometimes that online you don't get the actual, um, kind of when you, when you get it home, it does, it's not the same kind of thing. So this is mine zero zero. This is my actual color is in fair. So this is 00 Fair Light, this is that one. And the one I got that I thought was my color, it was 0 0.5 Fair Light Cool. So what I've done, because I have a little, I've gotten a little bit of a tan. If I just show you the difference there, guys, there's a huge difference when you think about it, if you look. So what I've been doing, and you might have seen it in other videos, is that I get the two of them, and I just, this is what they look like here. You get the sponge applicator, and I mix them around the face, because now I've got a little bit of a tan. I can use this one, which is the, Fair Light Cool 0.5, but I mix it with the paler one. And as I mix it around, um, it gives me that gorgeous glow. And it's a little bit kind of more of a tanned look, but I am getting a bit of a tan. I'm not completely kind of tanned like I usually would be if I went away, but we have been getting good weather here. So I thought instead of, I was originally just going to throw it away. And I thought, why not use it in a project pan if I can get a, if I can get an even lovely glow. And it, it's amazing. So I do usually in the morning, I will mix the two of those. 
So that's what I've been using. And this one more so is on its way out than the other. But when it's kind of the winter months and it's cooler and I am a bit paler, I do tend to use this one more. So that's why you might see this one is certainly um, got less in it than this one. But I think by the end of the summer, they'll certainly be uh, both be kind of for sure finished. Then I'm going to be doing, I'm going to just show you my um, mascaras. So this one I've been repurchasing and I've just repurchased it. So I've just thrown away the other one. So it's a perfect fit for the Project Pan, even though it's a new one. And this is the Collection Mascara and it is the Mile High Soaring Length Voluming Mascara. I think this is due for the Maybelline um, so Mile High. I think they're both called Mile High. There's a Maybelline and I will check it and I'll pop it up here. Um, it's the same packaging, it looks exactly the same, um, I will have a look up here, but I think it may be kind of, it's a fibre mascara, I love fibre mascaras, they just separate the lengths really well, you can do the bottom, this is the one mascara that I would actually use on the bottom as well as the top, um, so fibre kind of mascara, let me just show you the top of it, so that has certainly, I've just literally thrown away, um, this is a new one of about a week, week or two, um, and that's what it looks like there, if I just show you there, that's what the... So that looks like so it's that fiber kind of nice consistency so that when you do brush it it doesn't clump together and it, because it is so light and kind of tight you can get it right under there and without looking clumpy or anything like that so that's project pan that's just gone away and this is actually the new one um other thing that i've been using and um, that i've just gotten a new one of and i also i'll just move on to eye primer and this is my profusion pigment base and mine is in white you can get the tan one um, but I like the white one because you can see exactly where it's gone, particularly if you're doing like, the dark smoky eye, you certainly get around. And I mean, the other one is absolutely fine, but my favourite one is the white one. So that's been a repurchase too. This is just at the end. I've got about this much left of it here. You should be super careful because it does come out quite quickly. But I'll just show you if you haven't seen the white consistency before. This is what it looks like. So it comes out with the slightest pressure and it's white and it's really, really nice. It's not sticky. Um, but you can definitely feel like you've got something on the eyes and it certainly keeps the main obviously reason I repurchased it is because it certainly keeps the eyeshadow on in all weathers and that's the other thing too is to make sure that and you just roll it out there so when you do that you will see it on the eye as you can see you will see that there but I like that because you can see as it gets tacky it kind of stays a pale white colour and then when that's on the eye you can kind of see what you're doing and where your eyeshadow is going and it's more of a kind of controlled look for the eyes so that's what that looks like there so that's kind of got about this much left in it and um, the other things that i've been using up now that are almost complete are my um elf putty bronzers so i've got a little bit left in this and this is the um this is what it looks like here it's right at the end the hollow is there um, and this is in it does have a name so this is almost i'd say i've got about two weeks left in this and this is tan lines that's what that looks like there you can see it's coming to the end of the jar there um, and that's what that looks like tan lines and we'll just do a little swatch there now you can go heavier what i found is if you do application two or three applications that's when you get control of the color and um, so that's kind of what that's like there and it kind of you can blend it into a um, kind of into a bronze look or a contour it works both ways i like to use it with my real techniques um contour brush and that's really really good too so that's tan lines that's got about i'd say two weeks left of it really but i have been you know using kind of partnering that up with a powder bronzer as well and it kind of just gets that look if it's staying a bit longer and um, before I go on I want to just give a huge shout out to Revolution Matte Fix and this is their oil control fixing spray I was in Oxford on Tuesday it was a really really hot day hot day for us here in the UK we don't get the heat like that we're getting you know currently and um it, it, it was a hot day I felt kind of you know a little bit sweaty and things like that but this it never it never budged my makeup did not budge and I saw a photo of myself afterwards um, and I maybe looked a little bit shiny but certainly none of my makeup came off um, and I can only attribute it to this and um, so you get three in one at the minute super are doing a three in one you get one free obviously um, for their products and um, revolution beauty and I got the matte fix spray and oil control and it was completely free so if you get two products and um, they will kind of when you go to the counter they'll prompt you because it comes up on the till there's a three in one offer um, and then obviously you'll get your discount if you have your super drug card too so that's something to look out for other things that's coming right to the end is I just have it here as you can see it's just down to here this is the W7 Prime Magic this is a dupe for the Smashbox um, primer this is the Universal Face Primer 
gel consistency, but it goes around the skin so nice. Not a stickiness, because you often feel like with, this, with the gel consistency, will it be sticky to the face? No, it's very like, um, I would not say greasy, but I'd say there's like a kind of a, a creamish feel to it, a creamy feel, like a moisturizer when you're putting it on, but very thin, very, very thin. You don't need a lot. And I tend to just go to the T-zones, kind of here under the eyes, and then the chin area for me is where it kind of um, will start to kind of fade on me throughout the day so that's what i really like it's a really nice primer you get it in green so you can get a color control one too and there's the purple one and um, but i like the clear gel one and this is just their camera ready um prime magic from w7 so that's about here so i'm gonna keep using that guys and i think i've got about three weeks of that left so now what we're gonna do is just go on to um a setting powder um, so this is my stay matte from Rimmel. It's only about three weeks old, but it's certainly getting used. Um, I used to use collections um, and I got their candlelight. But what I'm finding is um, not just budget friendly for Rimmel, but also candlelight had a slight kind of vanilla kind of color to it. And so if I was getting a tan or anything like that, or if I was trying different makeup looks, it would make the makeup look because it had a tone to it basically in the powder. When I set the skin, it was also putting a color there, which I didn't really think was kind of beneficial to the makeup I was putting on. So I went, I had this in my collection. This is the Stay Matte Powder um, and it's their Trans Transparent 001. And I'll just open the lid for you there. It's got the logo, the Rimmel logo in there like that. You can see, I don't know if you can see it, the Rimmel logo is there. But it's a lovely, lovely um, transparent, which is really important to me when you brush it out onto the skin. Um, look, so you do get your kind of face set, but it's not putting a colour in. And that was the really important thing for me, that it wasn't going to put a colour in to my makeup. So it wasn't going to kind of take away what I spent time doing. So that's that. Um, other things that I've definitely, this is a new purchase too. So I've just thrown away another one. This is the e.l.f. Um, hydrating Camo Concealer. Um, I get the hydrating version because it's just a lovely, lovely um, consistency. It's um, more of a kind of, a, not, a, not a thick concealer, which I like. So you get to put it around the, the skin and it's easy manageable. It's not thick, it's not gonna stay in one position too long. But some concealers I've found, some high end and some low end, when I put them on or dot them on, if I'm kind of taking maybe even 30 seconds to just say spray my brush, or my um, sponge, it has already started to get tacky where it is. And so you're almost moving it. And that's not what you want for under the eyes at all. You, you wanna be gentle under the eyes. You don't wanna pull your skin in different directions. So this for sure, guys, has been great. Um, and it's just there, um, really nice, but you can see it there. More, a little, I will say, goes a long way. So my last, um, keeping in mind that I maybe put makeup on maybe two to three days of the week, um, I try to go makeup free during the week too, but two to three days of the week, I will put makeup on. Um, and so that lasted me four months. Um, so this is this one here. This is a refill. Um, and I got it from Elf Direct. You can get it on Amazon. Um, and uh, yeah, so this will be something that I will continue to put in my, um, my collection. The good thing about doing Project Pan is when you use up things that you've already had, it kind of makes it, when you do come to the very end of it, it makes you kind of realize or think to yourself, will I actually repurchase this again? So it's a good refresher for you in general to see what do I have? Let's use it up and then do I want to use it again? And that's kind of thing. So for me, I think I would not use the bronzer. I'll use it up, but I don't think I'd be in a rush to kind of buy it again. But I would certainly buy the Maybellines again, four in one um, perfectors. So it kind of lets you see, guys, like what will I actually repurchase? Like what will I spend my money on? And that's a really good way to be, whether it's skincare, anything like that, particularly in the times we're in, you know, in general, it's really important to kind of look at what you have and then look at what you may not use again. And then that saves you money too. So yes, the other thing that isn't really beauty based, something always falls, doesn't it guys? Um, is it's not beauty kind of makeup based, but it's something that I have repurchased for at least two years now. Um, and it's the, I'll just get the lid. It's the Super Drugs Vitamin, Vitamin E Skincare and it's their facial spray. So in the summer, I'll pop this in the fridge when I was in Energy Kids with the cat with the kids. And um, I used to put two or three of these in the fridge. And when we got really hot summers, spray the kids, they'd love it, cool them down straight away. But also it's great, it doesn't, and distort any makeup so if you've put makeup on and you feel kind of hot during the day it's not going to mess your makeup up um, and it's also just in general so refreshing and good for the skin so it's rich in vitamin e and it's a hydrating mist you can get different sizes this is the full size and it's available in super jerk as well 
So that's that. Um, I wanted to show as well one of my favorite curling um, lash curlers. And then obviously this isn't like a project pan, but it's something that I just wanted to give a shout out to. And I've had it for about nine months now. And this is the e.l.f. Um, and it's their um, lash curler basically. And it's really good. You get a little bag with it. I don't know where the bag is for me. I think it might be in one of my boxes, but it's really nice. It has that handle, that gentle handle. Um, and it does have like a little rubber consistency thing there. So when you are kind of gripping those lashes, it's not gonna be painful or anything like that. Some of them can be quite good, but you really, when you're kind of squeezing it, it can actually hurt the eye. So you have to be really, really careful with that. Um, and now we're just gonna go to eyeshadow. So the eyeshadows, two little quads that I've been using um, and I've been getting great use out of and I do know eyeshadows do take longer guys when you're doing project pan. It's something that you will kind of mix and match. You're not always going to use the same palette every single day. Um, but for me, kind of for a work look and um, particularly with the teaching, I'm really finding that these are quite professional. These are the Wet n Wild. This is the Gold Whip. Um, and then I have the Elf and they both look quite similar. I think I've said that before. This is the Elf um, and this one is... I think is I love you a latte and that's what that looks like too so I will open them and show you so again as I say with eyeshadows it's not as kind of um it's a bit more complicated in terms of kind of always you know trying to um use them up it's not something we think of when we think of eyeshadow we don't say okay I'll use this up whereas with foundation and bb creams and things like that they are going to be something that we eventually repurchase a lot sooner than eyeshadow palettes so I will just show you what they look like they have been in a couple of my videos but I have been making a conscious effort you guys this is the wet and wild um, this one, as I said, if you saw my other videos, this actually came with the, I think it came with um, a couple of my eyes. Uh, yeah, it came with Wet n Wild. Um, and there, this is the um, T Anyone bronzer and this, and it came with the blush too. So they were absolutely fine, but this came in the same package and it was just, this one was just crumbled everywhere. So I think obviously something happened, you know, in transit or anything like that, but I didn't throw it away. I kept it um, and this is what that looks like. So this is what there, so this is, um, gold whip and they're just gorgeous consistencies guys and I will stress again obviously it's not something that you're going to use up straight away or even within kind of um you know a month eyeshadow palettes are always going to be something you rotate so that's why it's in it's more of a rotation um I am going to start using my you can be um exotic flavors so this is what they look like there if we just do a quick you can see there guys in the light what they look like and they're just gorgeous they're really really good consistency they're very long wearing wet and wild again are very budget friendly so what we're going to do now is just move on to the elf i love you a latte so that was gold whip from wet and wild um, and we're just going to open that so this is a four pan and you can see there they're very light colors you've got your cream and then you've got your deep deep kind of almost like an espresso coffee um color um, and they're lovely they're all matte um, and they're really really nice palette to work with I think I have a short on them as well somewhere. I will link it below. So they're kind of just in terms of the eyeshadows. If I just go back to the blushes quickly, there's two that you would have seen even three weeks ago that I've still been using, trying to get kind of a pro you know project pan, as I say, um, for them. And this is just going to um, pair up with the um, bronzer. This is the e.l.f. Pri um, blush, and this is in Tahiti. Um, and I've been really trying, guys. The thing with these is this is a little bit more in it than the others, so I might switch it. I don't know. I will try and really work hard to kind of get it um, used up. But I think with, with these, they're so good that you actually don't need a lot. And when you're using blusher, you're not going to use as much as you use foundation or primer. You're not going to put the same amount on. So if I just show you what it looks like, um, you don't need a lot. Um, and so you do end up, you know, waiting that bit longer. So that looks like that and you can see that was a tiny little bit and you can see the kind of effect we got so um naturally you're not gonna have bronzers and kind of unless you use them every single day obviously that will go a little bit quicker but even so you're not gonna get um kind of a pan you know after three weeks or i mean maybe you will depending on how much you like to wear but for me in general that's not going to go as quickly as say a primer or a foundation so i do tend to with this one i tend to swap it and i kind of go back and forth with it so i've been also trying to get kind of down to pan with my max factor i've been repurchasing these for a while this one i've had for i think about a year now um, and it's just the marble effect from max factor and it's their um uh gorgeous berries blush and that's what that looks like again i can put that on top if you ever want to set it that's always a good thing um 
and you can just see it really does kind of um make the cheeks kind of just really stand out so again that's always up to how much you want to put on and then there's another pan stick i wanted to show you and we will kind of put some maybe foundation over this because i am going to be doing um a face um mask video tonight so that'll be interesting so this will all be coming off very very soon so if i just rub that across just where we've put the blush just to tone it down a bit so that i will be going straight into the shower after this and doing my masks so yeah so you can see what i mean and um, project pan for this is very very easy i think i've got about this much left this is the max factor pan sticks this is in number 13 nouveau beige um, and i find these amazing they're very quick you can pop them into your handbag with a little mirror um, and it's just great guys on the go and um, very quick as well i pr i think that if you use a beauty blender for me when it's wet kind of spray it i find it's a better kind of coverage rather than a brush you can use a brush but for me personally i've always found um with this one in particular because it's a thicker one and um, i've always found that um kind of a, a sponge or a beauty blender it has been amazing so yes that's definitely on its way out i think i've probably got about five more applications in that and then it'll be gone so yes that's good would i repurchase it again probably not i have had them before i do want to kind of look at my rimmel lasting finish which i have here and that is in my week two from today so two weeks from now this is what i'll be putting into my um and replacing the the pan stick with so yes i'm hoping to get this kind of used up um, and then i'll be popping this back into my um, basket so yes other things than that um is one other thing that i've been using for about two weeks now is another blush and it's rimmel's maxi blush and this is in 003 wild card i was looking for the deeper tones because i really do like the deeper blushes this was the deepest I could get, um, as you can see here, that's what it looks like. Lovely big pan too, guys. You get really nice big pans with these. And the Wet n Wild, I'll just show you, I was so pleased with how much you actually get for the money you pay. So this is the Wet n Wild. This is their Disney-themed um, Alice in Wonderland. And this is their Tea Anyone, and it's a bronze. You could certainly use it as a highlighter. But if you just look at the sheer size of that pan... I mean, you're going to get a lot out of this. So this is going to be popped into week three. Um, I really do want to try and get those pushy bronzers and blushes kind of used up and get good use out of them. Because as you can see, the issue with these is that if you're trying to kind of rotate makeup on a weekly basis or trying, you know, these are going to be ones that will last you a long time because a little goes a long way. And that's for both. That's for the bronzer and for the blushes. So maybe get a collection, something like that. But if you want to kind of try it, um, there isn't any smaller one than this. So, um, but you, if you like this, repurchase it for sure. But I would like to kind of move on to different things. So it is going to stay in my basket. I may re kind of re, re kind of rotate it, something like that. But it's something that's on my mind to kind of use up. So yes, I think we're almost at the end, guys. Obviously, I've shown you the mascara and the setting spray for me is certainly going to be something I'll repurchase. It's only about two weeks old, but I did want to kind of give it a shout out because it's you know the big tester for me is outdoors how is it going to be outdoors when you're outdoors that's when the test really does begin um, and for me on tuesday as i said it was so hot in oxford um oh my god it was just you know trying to stay in away from the sun but then there's certain circumstances when you do have to be outside and this was absolutely amazing guys so um yes oil control fixing spray and um, matte fix from revolution beauty so yes you do get a two for three in super drug and currently this is the freebie and um, they do have a dewy finish but for some reason that's not on the freebie list so um it may be now but it wasn't before so i got the matte fix but i have to say guys i usually get a dewy finish but this was it's something that's going to stay honestly i cannot actually say how much this worked you know i was in 29 30 degrees um and for about seven or eight hours and it it stayed put so super happy with that and um, the other thing that i just wanted to mention even though it's not a project pan i do feel this will become a project pan and it is the w7 glow drops and i've used them in a previous video i think i may have put them away um i have i've put them away somewhere you would have seen them in my other video um i did get the drunk elephant and i did do a um, video on that i can see the light is starting to go guys um let me just see okay that's a bit better um yes so i was trying to kind of see what i could do with that um but i do find that i tend to reach for the w7 glow drops a bit more than the drunk elephant i do have a review on this that i'll pop up here or maybe down in the description bar 
But yes, W7 Glow Drops, I do feel they're staying in this week's basket and next week's, but they're certainly how they are. How they, I've got them on today. They are just amazing. Um, I've been outside, you know, doing things um, and they've been just great. Um, so I do find that they're really easy to apply. Today I actually applied it over my, um, where is it, over my 4-in-1. So I popped this on after my skincare um, and I found the BB cream kind of consistency in these was enough. So I didn't need another foundation. I didn't need a BB cream. I had planned to put this over them, but I actually found that I'm, and I still have it on now, guys. And it's probably about seven hours, I would say. Um, I didn't need this. So I popped on the glow drops right over the prime, the four in one, and it just turned out really, really well. So yes, I think there's certainly going to be something that I will run out of. But the great thing about W7 is it is very, very budget friendly. So yes, if there was kind of something, to, having had the, the Drunk Elephant and having had the W7, if I was to say just a quick review, yes, I would certainly save your money and go with the W7. I don't want to say, so I will give a shout out to Drunk Elephant. It is a very good product. It really is. And get it if you would like to. I got it just because I saw it on social media. It's something that I'd kind of heard of. I know of Drunk Elephants. I've never got any of their products, but be coming into the summer. We're in midsummer now. Um, and you just wanted to try them. But obviously W7 have always been a, a really good, you know, reliable brand for me. So I knew they had the Golden Glow Drops before these came out um, and I wanted to give them a try. So yes, if you want to get the Drunk Elephant, absolutely. They've got really good ingredients. It's anti-pollution for sure. Um, but if you're kind of looking to kind of save, certainly W7 Glow Drops would be something I would look at. So yes, this is it guys. I really think it's important to keep a track of your makeup. So when you do see something, maybe when you're out shopping, it will make you think, actually, I do have something similar maybe I should look at that and you're saving yourself money so yes I hope you enjoyed guys have a really good day and I'll see you soon